your story, what your duties were, and what you got up to. Uh, well, our duties then was um, they would take us out to the uh, store, uh, to the big ships with all the stores on. That, that includes food and God knows what. And by the way, while we was out there, no one, uh, oh, this is a feeling I had, no one seemed to bother about you. It, it, no, you know, well, oh, well, you, you, well, you get on with it, you know. Where's that food coming? That's the first thing you think, well, isn't it? You <laughs> get to live. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, well, so, when we used to get the store, we used to have a, a good dig in, you know, to take some out and keep us going. But we wasn't allowed to, really. But, of course, it, it did make a lot of difference to the amount that was uh, taken over. So, <laughs> the only thing is, one chap had a nice pair of officer's boots, what he liked. <laughs> <laughs> but he got told off about that. We put him back on the next one. <laughs> yeah. Can Can you tell me how long you were on your landing craft for, and when you returned back to the UK? Uh, well, I, I must um, go on to, with the with the stories that uh, before then. Um, while I was out there, I I caught sick. I was sick, and I wasn't well at all. You know. Uh, to be honest with you, I think that it was through a, a big tin of Libby's, you know, milk, that I drunk straight down. And what with the, the sea, and uh, anyway, I was taken on to a um, um, hospital boat. That's how bad it was, you know. Um, and they, they, they landed me at um, Portsmouth there. Then I went in the hospital there. So from there on, but then I joined uh, joined the craft again, and what we done, we um, uh, the sold uh, German soldiers, you know, who was all captives in captivity then, they all marching along, uh, saved their big uh, march, you know, the, the, the actual marlies, they would have to uh, go. Uh, they use us to take them over and make a short cut, you see, to get to, to the land. So that was another part, part that we had. Can you tell me a bit more yeah. about that? Um, What, what, what really was happening was um, we, we, we was taking them uh, over. They they was uh, saying what a long uh, you know march it was, but of course I think there was more to it. What we didn't even know about. They just wanted to clear where they were, you know, quickly, for more likely our people to get in in there. So I don't I don't know, don't know the reason in a way. When you think back, do you think you were lucky to have escaped death, really, because you saw... Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. <clears throat> That's what I use now. When I get a bit down directly, I think of that. that that's been, uh, you know, a real point which I think helps me to get on now. You know, with my health. Do you... Th Think about the young men that left your landing craft that day very much and what happened to them. Um, which, which people was that? The, the troops on board the landing craft. Do you, did you think about them much after you left them on D-Day? Uh, oh, I see. Um, well, you know, really and truly, we did know uh, the people themselves, you know who we took over, and when they went over, uh, there was no connection. Oh, yeah, naturally enough, you all think how they got, got on, you know. But um, not, not, not deeply, you know, it's warfare, and that's it. 